like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So now you're going to meetups and you're meeting people, but <laughs> around this time, what's going on now? Uh, well, I'm working full time, right? So I'm working the nine to five and I'm doing the tutorials. I'm going to the meetups and, um, you know, I start seeing that people and mind you, we're a software company, so we're hiring. And, you know, I start seeing from this glass window, the sort of whiteboard problems again, it's like reverse a string and fizz buzz and stuff like that. And these guys are failing it. And I'm like, shit, I can do that. Like, and so um, at that point, I've been looking at what jobs were on the market. And I started noticing that I was getting so, like, I wasn't getting any calls back in the Los Angeles area. So I expanded out. And I was like, oh, well, it turns out if I expand out to, let's just say, the whole United States, which is what I did, that these more rural areas, that's not Los Angeles and New York, where there's a ton of devs and a lot more competition, I am getting calls back and uh, they are interested in me. And so eventually I ended up taking a role out in Florida. That's what is, you know, that's the best thing about being a developer is that you have the option to go anywhere and do anything basically from your house if you want, need to <clears throat> and work uh, in that environment, whatever environment you wish. If you want to go to the office, you can go to the office. If you want to, <clears throat> work from your house you can work at your house if you want to work on a mountaintop you can work on a mountaintop with wi-fi <laughs> you know it's it's i think it's pretty cool dude that like w with being a developer a programmer we are able to pretty much we we can be anywhere as long as we have our technology with us you know uh so yeah man um so so yeah, dude. So that happened, and then what happened after that? Like, so you started, um, you came to Florida, and you moved down here, and you got a job here because freaking you're able to do that, bro. Yeah. So I, um, at the time, I I didn't have many projects, but I had my YouTube channel. I had um, my website that I built in Angular JS, which was. I was like, okay, I'm getting pretty good JavaScript. At least I think I, at least at the time, I thought I was. And um, you know, HTML CSS. I think I can get a role in in the front end. It's like, what is it that's holding me back? I was like, all right, I got, I got to get comfortable with Git, and I have to learn a, a front end framework. So I did that, and I built that project. And I started applying. Let me ask you this. And I was how like, did you, how did you get familiar with Git? What what resource did you? Uh, I just started watching videos on YouTube and following it. Um, that's it. I'm I'm one of those guys. If I need a if I need a, a quick quick start sort of thing like you know give me a one hour to 20 minute video mm -hmm. that's it like you know it really get gets one of those things where you do basically the same five things and so once you at the time i still used a uh, desktop application to help with it and so i just used that and that made it a little bit easier but there's different you, you need more than five things when you're working with uh, other developers am i right or wrong like if uh no not not really you just have to you have to be more aware of where you're doing those five things so um but yeah so i was building projects and watching videos and took the job in florida you know two weeks later i'm driving three thousand miles away in my little three-cylinder mitsubishi mirage and i have it packed to the ceiling and i threw away the rest of the crap and um you know i show up with about 500 bucks in my pocket and uh you know, 10 days of a, the cheapest Airbnb I could find for about $14 a day in this little room that I'm renting. And uh, then I go find a room. And the next three months, I'm just like putting it in work, making sure I keep this job, right? The last thing I want to do is like, oh, it's like, hell yeah, I made it. And then get sent back with my, you know, head in my lap and just <laughs> shamed. Um, and so I was like, cool, put it in work, put it in work. And then, uh, you know, here we are two and a half years later, you know, I've, I've uh, gone to a new job now and, um, you know, life is good. So dude, you got this job. So was this, what was the workflow? Like, was it, how, what was the, 
<laughs> difference in workflow from the previous jobs you were working at and in the environment you were working into when you actually got you know w this isn't your first stamp but once you got to uh down here and you were just doing it like solo like you couldn't rely on anybody but yourself and you were just getting it done yeah i mean you should have that mentality anyhow if you if you're a developer and you're relying on other people you're, you're gonna have issues right because at the end of the day you need to be the one that can solve problems right developers are problem solvers that's why it's so important to learn how to think like a developer rather than memorize me, right? Mem memorizing things. People who memorize stuff long term are going to be really shitty developers. In my case, um, it was like, all right, cool. This is a, a new project. I'm on a team of about three to four devs, and this is what they need me to do. These are the technologies. There's a whole subset of things that I have no idea that I have to learn. And didn't even know where to think, and so every day I'd come home and and uh, you know just start get going and try learn these things in and out and see what I need to do and and go from there. And like, so how how have you liked it in Florida? It's been good, man. The cost of living's lower, and um, you know the uh, the housing market's cheap and. Uh, I've been liking it. The market's 